Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Last week, during a closed executive session, the St. Mary's County Commissioners discussed moving $4,000 from reserve funds to the county library budget to use for safety and security, and then voted 4-1 to to approve the transfer. The decision was made months after commissioners transferred $2,500 from the St. Mary County's library budget to the county sheriff's office to compensate for extra security provided for a June 23rd Drag Queen Story Hour event at the Lexington Park Library. The St. Mary's County YMCA Exploratory Committee has selected one potential site for a proposed community center and designated Lexington Park as the area of focus at the group's second meeting held Thursday evening. Based on recommendations made at the first meeting, Bob Kelly, Director of Information Technology for the county, updated the county GIS map for the group, adding layers such as school locations, school districts, county-owned properties, Naval Air Station's Patuxent River Compatible Use Zone, and filtering out properties based on acreage. A few students showed signs of being a teacher at a young age. They set up their own classrooms at home, asked for teacher supplies for Christmas, or wanted to follow the footsteps of family members who were educators. Years later, they saw St. Mary's Public Schools Teacher Academy as a way to receive teaching experience before finishing their high school diplomas. Two employees of St. Mary's County Metropolitan Commission jumped into action to save a man's life early last summer and were recently acknowledged for their efforts. After noticing a fellow employee was choking at the Metcom's Com Commerce Avenue headquarters in California earlier this year, Amanda Hill and Charlie Bogey were quick to step in and perform the Heimlich maneuver, causing the victim to swallow the lodged object. Hill said, I came out of my office and saw the gentleman choking, tried to give him the Heimlich, but it wasn't working, so I called for Charlie. Charlie actually happened to be around and finished the maneuver. She added that the five minutes felt like five years. The Washington Catholic Athletic Conference Metro Division Championship game, where the Riken Knights went up against the Archbishop Carroll Lions, took place this Sunday. Just about everything that could have gone wrong for Riken did. St. Mary's Riken head coach Aaron Brady said, at halftime, I told our guys that we had done about everything wrong we could have done wrong. So the second half has to be better. Trailing 14-0 after a quarter, the Knights got a stop on defense after junior quarterback Trev Norad threw an interception. The Knights were able to use that stop on defense early in the second quarter to begin to turn the game in their favor and scored 17 unanswered points to earn a 17-14 win. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. Happy Thanksgiving, and don't forget to stay safe out there. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's what we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. Signing, signing off. off.